Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again, and I hope you had a hearty lunch. We'll start off with the keynote reforms in the power sector. And the keynote speaker is Mr. Arup Biswas, the Honorable Minister in the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs, Power and Non Conventional Energy, Government of West Bengal. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for the Honorable Minister, Mr. Arup Biswas. A very warm welcome to you, sir. It is a privilege that you're here with us today, and I'll hand over the session to you, sir. Namaskar. Shavai ke shagotu janai. Ami uttun to anundi to jajge ABP the inko pame. Amake aamantron jalanu hoyche. Ta jo naami ABP group ke anturi kobi nandun janai. Ajgya amar subject hoyche reform in power sector. To je tu unno rajje lokerao achen. Parad Varshe Bairel Lokerao Achin Tai Aami Bangla Hai Noi Aami Ingrid Jitai Bolaar Chishta Kuchchi Good afternoon everybody I welcome you all in our Lighting Bengal Distinguished Gates Eminent Personalities Speaker on Dias and all other dignitaries present here Ladies and Gentlemen I am happy to present today in the 21st edition of Infocom 2022, being held in the centenary year of ABP. My heartfelt appreciation to the ABP group for consistently hosting the leadership summit for the last two decades. It has been recognized as a platform of industry leaders to share their experiences, their success stories and views. Today I am here to talk about the subject reforms in power sector. Sectorial reforms in India have rarely been linear. The power sector is a good example of how they have been shaped by changing circumstances. Electricity was the first introduced near the end of Victorian period in late 19th century followed by introduction in India on the street of Calcutta in 1897 during the colonial period. First hydroelectrical power plant in Asia was set up at Siddhapong in Darjeeling district in 1897, which is still running under the WBSC DCL with generation capacity of 400 megawatt. After assuming the chair of the office, charge of the office in 2011, our present government, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, undertook the power sector reforms on a much broader perspective. The reforms opened an unprecedented growth with significant increase in the additional of thermal power plants, substations, transmission and distribution network and renewable. If we go into the performance of our government, among our state generation station, Shautaldi was ranked number one till September 2021 in All India Ranking. In the year, financial year 21-22, our plant load factor, PLF, is better than central giants like DBC and NTPC. And much above the national average, this year, our PLF is 81.6%, much higher than the national average and the NTPC figure of 75.11%. In the financial year 21-22, Production from WBPDCL, captive mines, were almost 70% of the total coal requirement. This year, it is already been touched 73%. While second largest coal mines, Deucha Pachami, 
would be operational soon. West Bengal would be self-sufficient in coal from their own. In the recent past, there was a huge coal shortage problem in the country. Almost every state imported coal from the other countries. There are power cuts in every state, including Gujarat, where our Honorable Prime Minister belongs to. But the Bengal is the only state where there was no power cut even for a minute during the Said period. In the financial year 2023, the installed solar PV project capacity has reached 135.58 megawatt. Since 2011, 50 numbers of extra high voltage substation and 5290.29 circuit kilometer transmission lines have been added, leading to a network comprising of 151 extra high voltage substation and 16,000 193.29 circuit kilometer of transmission line till September 2022. Since 2011, altogether, 315 numbers of new 33.11 KB substation has been set up with high in huge increase of HT overhead lines. There is 193.8%. Underground lines, 380.92%, and LT network, 295%, 295%. Our consumer growth in Bengal is also a massive. From 2011, it was only 85 lakhs, but at present, it is 2 crores 53 lakhs. Our focus is on electrification of all household under Shabar Ghare Alo with creation of robust infrastructure of the same. Betterment of the consumer service, improvement of the operational efficiency and reduction of losses. Lots of IT enabled service were introduced like spot billing at consumer doorstep, mobile app for consumer enabling them to docket calls, view and pay bills, apply for new connection, load ext extension, etc. Consumer can make online payment through various digital payments mode. Now almost 67% revenue of WBSC DCL is collected through online mode, which is a major success story. To remind the service to the con consumer, at doorsteps, special camps are organized under Duare Sarkar, initiative of the state government. In the line with the sectorial reform, capacity additional and clean energy introduced have been planned in the government, by the government. One 660 megawatt super critical thermal power station is under construction at Shagordigi, we shall be added up to the existing thermal capacity of West Bengal. The state has further potential to add one 660 megawatt and two 800 megawatt thermal power units at Bakrishwar and Shautaldi respectively. We have planned to go for a major upgradation in Kolaghat and Bandel thermal power station immediately. We are setting up another 100 megawatt palm storage project at Turga, in addition to our existing PPSB of 900 megawatt at Ajodha Pahar. In addition, 182.5 megawatt floating and ground mounting solar PV project are various stage of implementation of Gualtor, Shagaldigi, and Shautaldi. West Bengal government cabinet has approved setting up a 1500 megawatt floating solar plant in Bakreshwar Dam. We have taken up implementation of scheduling 
accounting, metering and settlement of transmission project for the development of ABT metering with automatic meter reading and web-based scheduling bill and accounting of energy. Recently, the government of India has identified West Bengal as a potential state for green hydrogen and ammonia manufacturing zone and WBPDCL is planning to install a green hydrogen plant at Durgapur as a pilot project. The pursuit of towards energy transition has got a major fillip through the RDSS program through which through which 11,895 crores shall be invested. 11, I repeat, 11,895 crores shall be invested for loss reducing, installation of smart meters, system modernization to drive the sector out of woods for the all time to come. And put out the sector on path, sustained improvement trajectory. In the last 34 years of the rule of the left front government, English language was banned in the primary education. But one English word was popular among the whole work of life from child to aged, literate to illiterate, poor to linears. Guess what is the word? This word was load shedding. In the presence of our government under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, so the Mamata Banerjee made load shedding a thing of past. And it out of dictionary of Bengal power map. Our hydro power station, which are dependent on the river water flow, are breeding due to the lack of central government policies. I repeat. Our hydro power station, which are dependent on the river water flow, are bidding due to the lack of central government policies and carelessness, and carelessness to restore the river water flow by frequent desiltering and dizzying. In the presence, so many business and corporate houses present in the business conclave, we remind that Bengal is the destination of future business. We present our glorious Bengal before you for setting up a business where you have excess power, no power cut. The government of West Bengal is committed to provide steady power supply with affordable cost of all class of co consumers with the objective of inclusive and sustainable growth. Tai Rovi Thakur er bhasha ei bolte pari. Alo amar alo go, alo ei bhuvan bhara, alo er noyon dhuva amar alo ei ridaay hara. My appeal to all the business communities, please come forward to invest in Bengal. I repeat, the Bengal is the destination of business. Abar Rovi Thakur er bhasha ei boli, esho amar ghore esho. I thank you all for your kind attention and time and hope that you had a very productive and successful conclave. Thank you. Anandabajar Putrika Tadir Shatoborshe is a conclave coachin in Focom. Amijani Shara Bharud Borshe Teketara Aschen Shambai Amunki Bidestiko Manusha Aschen. যতদূর খবর রাখি যে আনন্দ বাজার পত্রিকা যারা অতিথি অভ্যাগতরা আসছেন আন্তরিকতার সঙ্গে তাদের যত্ন সহকারে তাদের দেখভাল করছেন কিন্তু আমার একটা অনুরোধ আছে আনন্দ বাজার পত্রিকার কর্তৃপক্ষের কাছে বাংলায় যারা আসছেন তাদের যদি একটু বাংলার মাছ ভাত বাংলার রসগোল্লা আর বাংলার মিষ্টি দই খাওয়াতে কিন্তু একদম ভুলবেন না নমস্কার ধন্যবাদ We thank uh, Sri Arubiswaso. Thank you very much. May I request Mr. Dhruva Mukherjee, who is the CEO of ABP Private Limited, to kindly come forward to present a memento. 
Here is uh, Mr. Dhruva Mukherjee, who is the CEO of AVP Private Limited, to present a memento to our Honorable Minister. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.